but but when it's Sunday and, and, it, and it's the NFL debut, brother, you can't have 90 people. You can only have the people on your squad that are ready to go to that level. Anybody else, have, they have to be cut. They have to get waivers. They have to get released, man. And people don't understand that applies to real life. You have to understand, man, that a lot of things that we call normal is simply due to, uh, you know, we're, we're a product of our environment. At AIDS, I am sold. Get your glasses up. Get your glasses up. A toast to the men. Toasters, I have a powerful brother with us today, a creator, a leader. This brother is out here doing God's work. He is the creator of a highly viewed YouTube channel, Immortal Minds, Conversations with Soul. He is the creator of cinematography masterpieces like The Recipe, Manifestation Masterclass, The Beautiful Faces of Evil, my personal favorite, and The Path. We have the one and only Soul Immortal. Appreciate it, brother. <laughs> How you doing, brother? Man, life is good, brother. Good, man, good. I complain, man. Man, I hear you, man. Let me tell you first off, like I told you before, man, it's a pleasure to have you with me, to have you with us. Uh, I'm honored. I'm humble, grateful, brother. I really am. And uh, before we just dive into it, I want the people to know a couple of things. One, Tosis, when you see my intro, when you see that, put your glasses up, put your glasses up, and you see that cognac or a brandy or Hennessy glass. I don't know what it is. <laughs> when you see that twirling, that ice twirling, my brother sold him more to create that for me. And uh, he, he saw I was in need <laughs> of a little a little <laughs> pizzazz, man. He, he has that gift, <clears throat> uh, something I don't have. Um, and I, I, I try to get it. I try my best, y'all, but I just, that ain't my gift. And that brother has it, man. So he saw a need and he extended uh, his hand uh, of giving. And so I'm appreciative of that. Uh, secondly, I want to take the people back or or let the people know how I came across Soul. He didn't know I existed, but I came across him. This is about three years ago. Um, I wasn't huge into YouTube. Uh, I wasn't, uh, yeah, I wasn't in social media really at all. Uh, but I started watching some YouTube videos. At the time, I was just coming out of going through something. Uh, which is in the book. I won't get into it, uh, but I was coming out of that, and I was starting to listen to a lot of guys, and his message really resonated with me. Uh, out of all the guys I was listening to, I might listen to him for a, a couple of days or a week, and then I'd be like, "Nah, this this ain't really for me." But I kind of stuck with this guy's message and kept going back to his videos. And uh, I told my wife at the time I was about to, I was getting everything ready for my book release party. And I told Yaya, I said, I don't know what it is, but me and this brother going to do some business together. I said, I just know I'm going to do some business together with this brother. He, she was like, you think so? I said, yeah, something's just telling me I'm going to do something with this brother. And uh, so I reached out to him, see if he wanted to speak, if he could speak uh, at my event. And people, I had a check for him. I'm, not, I'm saying that to say, don't always have your hand out. Show appreciation of brothers. But I had a check for him, but he couldn't do it. He was going to Mexico with his son. And, and, uh, but he said, brother, I would, but I got a vacation trip with my son. And which, which was, it was the truth. Uh, even if it wasn't, so be it. But he didn't owe me anything. But, uh, here we go, man. Three years later, here he's on my platform and, and speaking to me. So this brother talks about, uh, manifestation. And I'm telling you, man, that was a manifestation right there, right in front of your face, mm -hmm. brother. Oh, yeah, no doubt, man. So, brother, yes, man, I'm, uh, it's a pleasure to have you, man. Uh, you know, we, we see each other at least once a week on yeah, Sunday. At yeah, minimum. Uh, at minimum uh, with the Power Circle, man. And uh, you've just been a blessing to me and many brothers, man. But let, let's you, get man. into it, brother. Um, who is soul immortal? Well, first, first, let me say this, man. First, I want to say, man, but I'm honored to be here, man. Uh, you know, I know I don't tell you this a lot, man, but 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 like your words, your videos, your book, you know, your, your book, man, is life changing, brother. You know, uh, once I read that thing, man, 
immediately, man. I'm on the phone with Lane chopping it. We're going through it. I had to read it again, man. Awesome. And I, I thank you for coming on to my page and just going through that. Uh, yeah. I, and one thing I don't tell you enough to it, man, is just watching you and Yaya. Like, yeah. Yaya, the way y'all move together, man, people need to see that, brother. Like, just the way y'all move in sync, man. So I just want to say that, man. Thank you for bringing me on your platform, brother. Thank you, bro. But, but we say, you know, who who is so immortal, man? In, in a short sentence, brother, all I can say is, as I'm just a man that's trying to, trying to, and I don't want to sound cliche, man. I'm just trying to do the mission of the most high, man. Like, like at this point in my life, you know, I've, I've done a lot of things. I've had a lot of fun and, 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 and accomplished a lot of goals. But it's like every day, every day I wake up now, it's more and more about less of me and, and more about what I can do for the mission like of my brothers. Like, like how can I get my brothers on, on, on you know, in, in a peaceful state? And, and, you know, it's to the point now, it's like if I, if I step on toes doing that, if I offend some people doing that, I, I'm not trying to do that, man. But it's like that's my mission now. It's, right. it's like once I'm gone, that's what I want my legacy to be. You know, that's what I want my legacy to be, man. So, so that's really who I am. Wow, wow. And and you, you say when you, if you step on somebody toes, you don't mean to, but I'm gonna tell you this, brother. We gotta be and I understand you being a gentleman about it, and I'm a gentleman. I love being a gentleman to my to mankind, but brothers out there, sisters out there, we gotta be unapologetic about doing our mission, about you know, uh you know, doing doing the work, doing God's work. And I'm not big on religion. And when I say doing God's work, God's work, that has nothing to do with religion. But uh, we got to be like that, unapologetic and, and pushing forward. So, so, so this is the biggest question or the most asked question I get from brothers. Mm-hmm. How do I find my purpose? What is my mission? And how do I go about pursuing that? You know, I think... I think, you know, to find, for a man to find his purpose, like, it's, it's really, it's really multifaceted. Like, a man really has to go back, he has to go to the part, like, like, his beginning. You know, when he, when he first became conscious of him being able to make his own decisions, I don't know if that's going to be 12, 14, 17, but at some point in time, a, a man has to, to unlearn everything he's learned and, and go back to scratch. Now, something, sometimes the universe will take you there if you're taking too long to get there, but, <laughs> right. but at some point a man has to go to the point where, you know, where he just, for, you know, releases everything, you know, he may have to release some of his friends. He might have to release some of his, uh, you know, uh, uh, friends and family places he used to go to, man, just to get back to that, you know, ground zero. And once he gets there, man, and, and gets to back, back to nothingness, then just sit in the silence for a minute. And then those answers will start coming to him, man. You know, and, and when I talk about, you know, I talk about purpose a lot. And, and a lot of brothers, a lot of brothers I talk to, they'll ask me like, well, how do you find purpose? And for the longest time, I couldn't answer that, man. I was like, well, you know, I would, I would say, well, well, what do you love, man? Like, what's your mission? What's your cause? All these questions. But one day I asked the brother, I said, once you leave this planet, what do you want men to still be talking about concerning you? And brother, when I said that to young brothers, instantly they, they go to a place. They go to a place and they say, you know what? Now I'm starting to understand what, how I'm supposed to be moving. Because once you identify that, that that's when you start moving in that man. That that's what your purpose is, brother. Wow, wow! I never even thought of it like that, man. Um, you just shortened my response to the brothers <laughs> for real, man. I, I would give a long answer, but you're right. When I die, what do I want to be remembered for? What what mm-hmm. mark did I leave? And that that simplifies it. That's so powerful, mm-hmm. but so so simple. Uh, now, I kind of alluded to this a few minutes ago. Uh, something you talk about a lot and something I, I talk about ever so often, but I, I do address it, I think, quite often in the book, religion. Um, what are the pros and the cons uh, religion has done to us? I, I will say the pros, man. Like, there are a lot of people that are just anti-religion. And even though, even though I don't affiliate with a particular religion, even though I'm not pro-religion, I can easily identify the pros. Like, you know, concerning myself, I can look back when when I was, uh, you know, a teenager and my father had passed on. It was just me living in a single, uh, uh, sit with my single, you know, single uh, mother household. And in the church, you know, Christianity, religion w- was was my guide. You know, uh, giving me some kind of structure. You know, you know, going going to Bible study and going through, you know, the Book of Proverbs, learning how. 
the men of the Bible move, you know, whether people believe it actually happened or not. But that, that at one point in time, that was my only male, male role, you know, male guidance that I had, man. So I can easily say that religion, you know, is a, is a, is a, you know, can be a guide for this, you know, culture of single mothers. Um, I can easily say that religion is getting brothers off of the streets, getting people off of drugs, getting people, you know, off of all kinds of addictions. It's doing that. So, so there are several pros, man. But, but when it comes to the cons, in my opinion, the cons far outweigh the pros, like, like far outweigh the pros. And what I mean by that is, it's like, it's like religion has monopolized uh, what they call salvation or eternal life, right? Yes. Like, 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 like religion is saying that, you know what, if you want to be saved, if you want to, you know, get to the kingdom or eternal life, then, then you have to go down this narrow path. You know, you, you have to put your faith in, you know, you, you have to put your faith in, in, in some entity that died on the cross that you never met, but right. that's the only way you can get to, to paradise. What that right. does instantly, man, it, it cuts a man community, it cuts a man's communication off with you know the direct communication that we have with God or the all, right? Yeah. It's like it's like we have to go a certain way, you know, we got to understand why he died and the crucifix. It's like it's like this, man. I remember I remember uh, several years ago. I was this was probably 2006, 2007. I had a, a, a Jehovah's Witness come to my door, and I have nothing against Jehovah's Witness, but it was a Jehovah's Witness, uh, 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 I think they call them elders. He came to my door, and he was talking, and he gave me this long spiel. You know, we had a good conversation, man, and I asked him one question. I said, you know what? If I'm on my deathbed, and, and I'm moments away from clocking out, and I ask you, how can I get to heaven? I said, what do you tell me? And this brother went on a 30-minute spiel <laughs> about, about blood, about this, about that. I said, brother, that's where you lose me, man. I said, why do we make it so, so complicated to connect with God? I said, I said, I said brother, all you have to do is believe that, that, that God is what it says it is and does what it says it does. Nothing else. You know, right. and, and, and that's my belief. And I, I, I just think religion is a good practice to keep people. It's a good practice. You know, when it right. comes to somebody trying to keep it in line and having some kind of structure, I think it's a beautiful thing. Right. But I think that once a man or woman leaves church, they, they need to have their own personal mission, their own right. personal faith, you know. You know, yeah. uh, that's yeah. my take on it, man. Yeah, I, I agree. I agree. Um, I think religion for me is the training wheels of life. Mm -hmm. uh, but at some point, you got to take off those training wheels and, and, and believe in yourself. And no, I can ride this bike on my own. I, yeah. the, the, the God in me is yeah. powerful enough to ride this bike without the training wheels. Because when you have the training wheels on a bike, you don't trust the bike. You don't trust yourself. Mm. You trust these wheels on the side of it. And until you take those training wheels off, you will never know how powerful you are. You know? Yeah. Um, and so, nice, yeah, I was talking to someone the other day and we were talking about uh, what it takes to start a civilization, a, a community uh, from nothing. And I was saying, you know, a hospital and, you know, you need, you need, uh, you need this and this and that. But then I also mm. said, you know, I'm not big on religion. I said, but if I'm starting a civilization, I do need a place of worship because it does bring order. Mm. You know, it brings order and, and you need that as, as a babe, not even as a babe in the physical sense, but as a babe mentally mm. and spiritually, mm. you need that in the beginning until you can get out of that and, and see the bigger picture uh, and the bigger purpose of your life. But yeah, I think religion definitely plays a part, but, uh, we, we, we got to graduate from that, I believe. We really yeah. do. But yeah, I don't, I don't, uh, I don't really cure it down, my brothers uh, who practice no. a religion, and you don't either. Yeah. So no. yeah, yeah, I do no, have no, respect. Man. Um, now one thing, man, that that really drew me to you in the beginning and still today, uh, and I just see the moves you're making, man. I, I'm just in awe and inspired, and that's entrepreneurship, independence. Mm. I, I I see what you're doing. And I'm big on that. I'm big on being independent. But you've taken, you're off to another level than I am right now. You know, I got one foot in corporate America still. But so you inspired me uh, to, to really, you know, get out there full fledged. Mm -hmm. So can you take us down that road to where you said, I'm not doing this anymore. I'm not working for the man anymore. I'm going to mm -hmm. work for myself, but also give to the people on a broader scale. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be independent entrepreneur. You know what, man? It's crazy because 
like me growing up, like that's all I saw my mom do. My mom, I, I remember when I was, you know, six, seven, eight, my mom owned, I mean, my mom worked for a company um, called Electro Delta. They made, they made um, voltage regulators for airplanes, right? And I remember when this, this company was going down, her and two other employees bought the company. Oh, wow. and, and from that point on, my mom was an entrepreneur. Man. Like, like, like I saw that growing up, but at the same time, it didn't stick. Like, like I never saw that and say, you know what, that's how I want to move. I, I just never did. And, and it just surprised me. The thing for me that, that really stood out is, is when I got in my 20s, uh, uh, no, I was probably 18, 18, 19, man. And I had a job and it was before I joined the military. And I saw a lot of brothers that were in their 30s, 40s, 50s that were masters at their craft at this point. And I saw a very young brother, maybe 24, came in, didn't know nothing about it, came out of college. They put him in position and he was just pretty much cracking whips, man. And I was like, I don't want to be in that position. And then not too long later, man, they start laying, laying these old schoolers off, man. And, you know, they're in their 40s, 50s, you know, where are they going to go? Been, been with the plant for 20. So I said, you know what? I don't want to be in that position. So I didn't know how my life would plan out, but I knew that I was going to have to do something at some point to not be in that, in that, in that rap, in that, in that, in that, you know, in that situation. Right. Right. But the thing, the thing that changed for me, bro, was like, I, I started having a desire to be an entrepreneur, to step out and do something and, and just be, do my own thing. But I, I think my, my, at first, my, my motivation was wrong. I was like, you know what? I want to step out, man, and get the bag and be successful and all this stuff. And, and me having that mentality wouldn't let me tap into the things that I needed to tap in to make that kind of move, man. So I was just spinning my wheels, want to do this, want to do that. This is when things change, bro. Things changed when I got put in position when my son said, you know, my son was 11 years old, right? My son said, dad, like, I want to come live with you next year. And at the time, I, I was working in corporate America, man. I had a good job, man. But the thing is, my job had me traveling three weeks out of a, a, a month. And I'm sitting there single, man. So I'm like, bro, like, I can't tell my little man he can't come stay with me. Right. And I said, you know, so I, I you know, my, my mission changed. My why changed, brother. So I was like, you know what? I said, all this stuff I've been studying for years, because I started studying all this manifestation stuff, manifestation stuff at about 24, 25, man. I said, all this stuff I've been study, studying, I said, it's, it's time for me to stand on it fully. I said, I said either I win or, I just, or, or, or I'm homeless after this is over, right? So I just, I just started the whole creation process, man. Like, I, I just started, I just started like, like, like taking the steps, you know, one by one, put, putting myself in position, changing my mindset, you know, and, and, and over time, brother, like, like, my, my old world started to crumble. You know, and I always talk about, and I don't want to get off into the whole manifestation thing, but, right. but I always talk about when, when a man see, you know, when a man is creating a new world, his old world starts to fall, fall down. Mm. Once I knew I was on the right path, man, but I, I was top salesman globally for a few years. Once I started becoming something else, that world started to crumble. And even though it looked bad, I was, I was excited because I said, you know what, this new world is coming. Even though I didn't know how it was going to look, I didn't know how I was going to do it, but I just, I just trusted the most high, man. And, and, and like, right. it's like, that's why I'm so passionate talking about, about God now and all because I, you know, I, you know, I, I stood on that and came out. But, but to get back on it, man, like, like I just changed my why. And, uh, and this is the thing, man. Like for the longest, I was saying, okay, I want to be an entrepreneur. What do I want to do? You know, everybody gets out here talking about, oh, I want to do Amazon shipping. I want to do that, 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 And those things are, are solid. You can make right. big money. But, but the thing that I learned, you know, just by studying, like, like the way that the most high blesses us is simply by us expanding on who we are. Mm. Like, like, like even if there isn't a career around it, I said, all I have to do, man, is be soul, you know, and, and, just, and, just, and just expand on soul, man. And once I started doing that, man, even – even not knowing how it was going to work, man. I, you know, once I did that and start removing myself to the silence, moving my energy, move to the silence just over and over, but then those downloads started coming. Like way, ways to make money like, like that I had no idea just begin to land in my lap. Saying, brother, like, like the, and these opportunities, opportunities had always been there, brother. So, so wow. I, I just stepped in that, started moving in that and, uh, and trusted it. And it just panned out, man. It, it, it got to a point where all I had to do was just be myself, wake up wow. and share my life experiences. And, and, and it's crazy because like, like I remember when I first started making this move, like, like, like family members or, or close friends or, or relatives, you know, when I would tell them what I do, it was like, that don't sound right. 
Like, like, right. how can you still make a living? It's like, bro, it's like, it's, it's faith. Right. It's faith It's faith in condition. So really what I had to do, man, to make a short answer, I just had to change my programming. Like, like my mental programming was set. You got to think like, like, if, you know, if I, if I work for someone from, from 15 years old to, to 42 years old, it's almost like somebody going to prison for 30 years. Like, right. like I was institutionalized, man. Like, like, I had no other, in my mind, there was no other way to, to make a living by, except by going and, and, you know, quote unquote, punching on the clock, getting a job done, even if it's a good money and going back home. Right. Once I changed my truth, once I said, you know what, I can make my own money, even though I don't know how, man, just trust the process and, and move in it. Brother, man, life just changed. And I'm not gonna lie, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Three or four times out of the week, I, I wake up, man, and bro, I'm in awe. On, on, on my life because this is what I wanted you know once my mission changed from wanting money right. I, all I wanted was time I said all, all I wanted was time man like 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 24 hours is a long time once you understand once you're doing it for yourself right. you know what I mean right. all I wanted was time all I wanted and this was my meditation bro my meditation when I first said this is what I want to get all I pictured in my mind was waking up in the morning and taking my son to school like that was my meditation, taking my son to school, uh, taking my son to school, because I knew I knew if I was in position to do that, that I would no longer be at that other job and that I would be in a, in, in a, in a free place. And brother, right. it's like it's like every morning, now, every single morning. Now, I get up, man, and I, and I go and get in the car waiting on my son to come out. And I'm just, I'm just thankful, brother, because I'm saying I, I, I say, man, there was a time where I saw this in my mind, but I had no idea how to get here. And I just follow the steps, follow the process, man. And it came to be, man. So. Wow, For me, it was, wow. it, it was, it was uh, programming, and, and I just wanted time, bro. Time is everything. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you, you took off those training wheels, man, uh, that, that safety net. <laughs> you you yeah. know, you, you trusted yourself, and you followed the path, man. And I know, I know brothers listening, sisters listening, saying, well, that's easier said than done. Man, what's the alternative? <laughs> I mean... I mean, you got to look at, okay, if you keep going down the road you're going, how are you going to be remembered? And, and uh, man, I'll tell you, man, I resonate with that. So as a kid, I'm talking about as a kid, man, I knew I wanted to leave my imprint. Mm -hmm. I didn't know, I didn't know how. I, I really did. I just like, I want to be remembered. I want to know yeah. people who know I walked this earth. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And, and, <laughs> and I was young, man. I was like 12. I just knew. Man, I just don't want to pass because I, I used to watch people die. And, man, people are forgotten. Like, mm -hmm. like man, I'm talking about after, after a week. Yeah. Or 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 they end up, end up selling grandma's house. So the mm -hmm. house is now gone, too. It's like, yeah. dang, man, like, grandma's forgotten. You know, it's like, dang. So I want to leave something, you know, uh, an imprint, spiritual imprint, intellectual property that my spirit is, is, is mm -hmm. in. And uh, so people remember me, man. Yeah. You know what else? You said something, man, like you said, you know, something that you 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 uh, resonated, resonated with when you were young. This is something else that I understood when I, when I was young. I, and I had to be, I had to be somewhere between six years old and eight years old. Wow. And I was sitting in a Sunday school class and a Sunday school teacher was teaching. And I was looking at a picture uh, uh, on the wall and the picture was of Jesus, but that that, that had nothing to do with my thoughts. Right. But I said, you know what, this whole thing that we're being taught, and I'm six or eight years old, bro. I said, this whole thing, mission and, and salvation and, and all this stuff we've been taught. I said, I don't know what truth is. I said, but I know this is not it. And I said, right. at some point in time, it's going to be exposed to me. And, and, and that's what, and wow. I didn't, I, in my mind, I wasn't saying that's going to be my mission, but right. I said, that's what I'm going to fall in love with. Whatever, whatever that truth is, I'm talking about, my brother, I wasn't even 10 yet. I said, wow. whenever I said, whenever God shows that to me, I'm gonna fall in love with it. I knew that, man. And even though I went through my whole teenage years, you know, you know, uh, 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 going, you know, going to church, but I was Wednesday night. I was an usher board. I was, I was deacon. Even though I knew that, I knew at some point in time it was, it, it was gonna, there was gonna be a knock on the door saying, "Hey, it's time. It's time, it's time to start exploring something else, man." Wow. So, yeah, man, this, this religion, bro. Yeah, yeah. People, uh, if you don't take anything else, take what the brother said. He had to find his why. He had to reprogram himself, and, and he had to step out on faith. Uh, now let me tell you, let me tell y'all, when you do that, that's not saying you won't fall off the bike. 
when you take off those training wheels. That's not saying that. <laughs> that's not saying you won't skin your knees. That's not saying you may. That's not saying you won't go through a moment where you thinking about putting training the, the the training wheels back on there. I've seen people do that as a kid. It's like you you, know, you, you ain't ready to put the training wheels back on there. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I've seen that. And I'm telling you, man, don't put the training wheels back on there. You got to go through it. You're going to be all right. I'm telling you, you're going to be all right. Uh, It's going to be all right. And you'll look back and laugh and cry uh, tears of joy. And so, uh, yeah, man, just keep the faith and keep pushing. Now, now, so this is something I talk about a lot. You talk about a lot. And, man, this is the male-female dynamic, man-woman dynamic. Uh, man, this, I, in my opinion, this is the, this can be the most challenging and the most rewarding relationship that we can have from men and women. Mm-hmm. Uh, what What is the problem? I know you talk about this a lot. Uh, mm-hmm. What What is the problem, the main problem or problems we face and really coinciding and connecting with one another and what's the solution what's the recipe to resolve Man, i think i think the problem is and, and i'll be honest bro like like this is something that i'm still learning on a, on a daily basis man like and, and to be honest I, I i really wasn't even on the right i was i wasn't even close until i was over 40 years old 41 42 years old Me too. but i think the problem is bro I don't, I don't think we, we really understand, when I say we, we as, a, as a whole, the collective, doesn't really understand what a relationship is really supposed to be, like the purpose behind it, the power behind it. Like, like we're, we're so trapped into, you know, being attracted to someone because she got a big, you know, donkey or, or whatever, right. that we really completely lose what a relationship is. Even when two people get together and love each other, it's like, it's like, okay, we love each other, but but if we don't have that connection, because there, there's a difference between being attracted to somebody and being connected to somebody. Yes. Brother, once you're connected, brother, it 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 all makes sense to me. But but the thing is, a man has to be in the right mindset, right? right. And, and it goes back to this whole, it goes back to the whole blue pill, red pill dynamic. Like that, that's very, that's a very important, important piece, man. Because, because, like, when you talk about brothers being blue pill, like, the, you know, with us being like, 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 whole single mother situation or single parent household, let me say that, like, right. that's that's fairly new. That's a new right. thing. Right. And you got to understand, like, 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 my age, like, we're the first pretty much wave of brothers coming out of that. So we're the product of that. So we're the product of really not knowing what, a, what, a, what, you know, having a man in the household was like. So a lot of brothers are blue pill. That shifted the dynamic. Because, because now we're asking women to be certain things to guys that can't even tap into their masculinity. And then that kind of just threw everything where, and I'm not saying that's the, that the, the beginning of it because it, it goes way back. But but then, you know, the dynamic it's always been back and forth. That caused women that's caught, you know, react a certain way. Now men are, are going to the complete opposite end. And now they're red pill. Right. And now they're like, you know, now 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 we have control again, but but it, it's too far, it, there's no balance, right? right. And, you know, if you, if you listen to a lot of guys, and it's not all red pill content, but I can have some red pill guys come on my channel and they'll say, if I make a, a video about women or relationship, they'll say, hey, you know what? That, there's no sense of saying this. Leave all women alone. And, and they'll think that that's the right move. But it's right. like, brother, think about what you're saying. It's like, right. if that's the right move, then, then in 100 plus years, we'll be extinct. Right. If every man just shuts down and stops talking to women. Like, like, so, brother, you have to understand, that's not the right answer. No. But I, and, and again, man, I think red pill community, red pill information, red, even the harsh red pill stuff, I think it's needed. I think it's. I, I think it's keeping brothers from taking their lives. I think it's it, it's it's letting brothers recalibrate. But the thing is, you you can't stay there. You you can't live in that energy, man. You got to go there and invent and heal and then come out of it, man. And the thing is this, man. And, and, and I'm saying like I'm just now really understanding, brother. And and a lot of it, like I, I can look at you and Yaya, man, and I can see that balance, man. I can see when y'all talk, like like the first time I saw y'all communicate. I can see you in your in your dominant masculinity, and I can see her her femininity, and I can just see the cohesion. And right. I was like, bro, you don't see that a lot, man. Yeah. And, and I, yeah. I'll be honest, but I'm just now understanding later in life that that dynamic. But here right. in the last year, what I'm understanding now, man, bro, like like I understand now why you know the system 
you know, wants men and women apart. I get it now because I understand that once if a, if a man is in balance and a woman is in balance and they come together, brother, that's where God lives. Man. Like, like that's where God lives. You know, and that's that sounds like cliche, you know, where two people are on there. Brother, it's a real thing. It's a real thing. If you if you have a woman that, that that's tied to you, tied to your purpose, pointing you, brother, there's nothing you can't do. Nothing. And, and, and I say I was saying that before I even experienced it because I knew it to be true. Once I once I experienced what it, what it felt like for a woman to pour into me, man, and saw my world multiply, right. I understood it, man. And I said, this is why they want to keep everybody apart. This is why our music is about B's and H's and da 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 da. Because if we all come together, man, and and and, and, and link up and connect, bro, right. like like right. the world would change overnight, man. Overnight. So so in a nutshell, man, like the like I'm just not understanding the the, the dynamic, man. And I, I understand fully now. That when a man and woman come together, like once we get past all this toxic stuff we're talking about, and, and two healthy people come together, man, like like it goes back to what Napoleon was saying in a uh, out with the devil right. when he was talking to that source. You know, he was he was in he was in tune. He was you know, and he had, he asked that answer. He said, "How did I get here?" <laughs> right. He said, "Because of your wife." Like like right. like y'all came together, but like you're superhuman now. Yes. You know, yes. and I think that even some people that are married and happy and loving, some people still don't understand what that's like because they're still like, you know what, boo, fine. Or well, my husband's, you know, six foot five and chocolate. So yeah. I love him. And that's a good thing. We got beautiful kids. But right. if you don't have that connection, brother, or once you experience it, it's like this. It's like this. Once I experience, experience what it was like to have a connection with a woman, brother, all that other that physical stuff, right. it, it was it became secondary instantly. It's like, okay, yeah, you know, you think, yeah, we, you know, but if we don't have that. That that oneness, it's like, man, I have no smoke for it. Like I have no interest in it. You yeah. know. Yeah. So yeah. Man, yeah, relationships are a powerful thing, brother. Powerful. Man, I agree. I and I don't know, I don't know mo I don't know if most people realize this, men and women, that in my opinion, like the woman is the supercharger. Like mm -hmm. I could do some pretty, pretty awesome things by by myself, but <laughs> connected to my wife, I, I've done some some extraordinary things, man, that I'm telling you. People would think I made it up, you know. Mm -hmm. They would think I made this stuff up, man. Uh, the things I've done, and uh, it just, you know, I go to another level. And I used to mm -hmm. wonder why. Um, I used to wonder why I always mm -hmm. wanted my 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 wife with me, you know, um, when I would go out. And I, then I finally realized I was like, man, you know what? She balances me <laughs> when I'm out. Cause I'll be real, brother. I could be. I could be sometimes super aggressive, a lot, a lot of masculinity in me, you know, and, and um, I hate to use the word alpha, but mm -hmm. even the brothers that I that are drawn to me and I'm drawn to, mm -hmm. like we we have this certain thing in common, right? <laughs> and so it could be a lot of testosterone. So when I got my wife with me, man, it just brings me down. It just gives mm -hmm. me some balance, man, when I'm out here walking this, in yeah. this world, brother. It, it really does, yeah. man. And, you know uh, what else, man? Yeah. Like, 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 and the thing is, too, and I'm, again, I'm just not learning this late in life. A man, a man had, and I, and I thought about that when you talked about the whole, you know, you walking too much, too much masculinity and balance you out. Right. Like a man, a man has to know how to utilize a wife. Mm. Like, 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 there's no sense in having a powerful tool there if you don't know how to use it. And if a man is too much in his Chest bumping and da da. I'm the man. I'm saying everything right. He he's he he might as well be single, bro. Yeah, he lost. Like, like 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 I'm telling you. Like once a man once a man come, you know, and I don't want to say come down, but once he understands that his wife is a tool for him, that she's there to help him, right. and can put him put her in a position and energy to do that, brother. Your your woman can pour so many nuggets in you, man. She will right. have your cup overrunning, brother. Right. And I'm right. telling you, I'm just now learning this in life, man. Yeah, you man. Know, yeah, I'm gonna tell you what's so man. Sometimes when we when I have to go to these mixers, entrepreneur mm -hmm. mixers or, or different types of mixers, man, sometimes I'll send my wife through the door first. Yeah, yeah. Or even before we were married, I just wanted to test her to see if she could be what I needed. Mm -hmm. I asked her to go to this mixer by herself. And she was kind of nervous, <laughs> you know, uh she had never done anything like that, but she mm -hmm. did it. And she was a success. But the thing is, man, my wife is very feminine. Of course, mm -hmm. she's beautiful, uh, but mm -hmm. she's very feminine. And she's a people person. 
So she'll light the room for me sometimes because I might rub people the wrong way because I'm so direct. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm, I, you know, yeah. I'm so direct. You know, I've been called an a-hole. I, I, I'm very yeah. direct, but I, yeah. I think I'm tactful, but I'm, I'm very direct where, where she, you know, she's, she's kind of different. So she'll lighten the mood for me. Then I'll walk in sometimes depending on the situation. And then, mm. hey, man, that table's already set, man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's a beautiful thing, man. Yeah, like 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 a woman, like a woman has to be, she she has to be, uh, like your reflection. Yeah, she she has to be you in a different body, man. Like 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 it, you know. And there are a lot of men that are married that that are in quote unquote happy relationships, but but they don't trust their wives enough for one to be in a room with with mm -hmm. a bunch of men, right. right? Or or to represent them. It's right. like you know, I know some brothers that it's like if you're not with your wife. She might be wild out a little bit. Just because I, you're I not know. There. Yeah. It's like, bro, you can't move like that. She has she has to represent you. Yeah. Like, like when you're not there, like for not even if you're not there in, in a room, if you send a wife to a mixture because you got to be at a different event. She's right. rep when they look at you, they're saying they're saying it's the book. They're like, okay, you know. Yes. On top of that, once you pass away, if say for example, God forbid you pass away before her, she's still representing you. Still representing. He's still, still representing you, man. Still. Like, 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 and I, and I use the I use the uh, the Martin Luther Coretta Scott King uh, yeah. scenario all the time. Most of us, the majority of us, all out now never saw Martin Luther King in person. But it's all, it's like we all know him personally, strictly because we can see how his wife still moved when she was alive. The right. way she carried herself was like, oh, okay, like that's right. that's who Martin was. Now right. I can listen to his message and and and, and, and close the loop. You yes. Know, yes, it's powerful, man. It's powerful, the one brother. You is powerful. Yeah, what's that scripture, man? I think you quote this a lot. Is that Proverbs thirty-one, which says the uh, uh, the people, the people in the in the uh, in the city, when mm. she walks through, the people in the city, yeah, like, well, like when the he walks, at the, gate. the people at the gate re uh -huh. respect him, yeah, be because of her, I believe. I don't want to, yeah. I, I didn't yeah. butcher yeah, that. It's something, it's something like, yeah, it, it is something like that. That's a powerful yeah. statement, bro. That's a very powerful statement, man. Man. And I, so, I, I'm gonna I'm lie. I didn't uh, even I didn't even experience something like that until after 40 years old, man. So hey, I was like, man, man you know. Yeah, that, that's a beautiful thing, though, man. It, yeah. it it is, brother. So I know you know we can't technically talk about um, the view of a woman, uh, mm -hmm. but from the other side, what are some misconceptions that me, that women have of men that they think or the women think are so important? That uh, from a man's perspective, that we want, or that we need, and we, like, man, we're not even tripping on that. We want this at the end of the day. Yeah, yeah. I, I think I think it's gonna be different for every uh man, but I think, like, like I can say for, for myself, man. I, you know, and I know women is it can be it can be a challenge to be a woman to to you know for single women to get out here in these streets and looking for a man or a husband and have to move and they have women to compete with. That are that are that are you know uh, getting getting work done and getting all this stuff done and, and they're walking in this energy, you know. When some women just just want to walk in their natural femininity, right. you know, they, they don't want to go extra above and beyond. So I would say that a woman would uh j just be herself, you know, it, 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 as far as and I, I'm not sure if I'm answering that that right question, brother. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, I, you you're on the right track to to be themselves. But th this is what I think as far as like what what women need to really understand man like you know and it comes down to this whole submission thing right like mm. you say the word submission and half the women in the room they shut down <laughs> right they're already out the conversation you so, don't so you you cuss them out hand. yeah you didn't cuss yeah, them, you out. Cuss <laughs> them out what women don't understand man is that is that is that them being submissive is their superpower yes like, like once they submit to a man and, and, and pour that energy into him but there is going to be very few women that can even catch his eye. Yes. But because that that's what a man means. Not like her being submissive is what is how she reciprocates back to that man. Yes. Like it's it's almost like her being submissive is almost the check and balance. Like when a woman is like, oh, my man might be in these streets and he might leave. It's like, no, if you if you're submissive to him and giving him the energy, sister, he ain't going nowhere. Nowhere. He, that's because 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 once you leave, now he he's a weaker link now. Right. It's like you're his superpower by doing that. So I think women need to understand that, man. And I, I get it. In this world we live in, I, it's hard for a woman to submit herself uh, and, and, and understand what's taking place. But but if the right woman does it in the right way to the right man, 
that's that's what's gonna make her, you know, that's what's gonna see me in her position in, man. Right. I also think that, you know, when when a woman talks about uh uh you know being in a man's life, it's about you know, you know, it's all you know, everybody talking about bringing something to the table and, and all this stuff. Right. I think all a woman needs to do, man, is, is be a woman that that man can't live without. Like, like that's what's going to separate a woman. And I'm using that from, from my personal experience. Right. Like, like I, I, you know, I can think back when I was dating, you know, a whole, you know, a number of people and that, you know, o- over the years, like, like when a man crosses a woman that he can't live without. And, and I really mean like, I mean, of course, anybody can live without anybody. But what I mean is like once a woman exits your life, like if your life changes so much where it's like, bro, like, like I understood what she was doing for me now, right. you know? So, right. so like once a woman understands to be that, and that, that a lot of that is being submissive, being supportive, pouring into him. And, and a lot of women don't understand that once you do that, then all this stuff you want from a man, oh, it, it's coming. It's coming. But because, because, because the way we're made, we love to give to our, our, our women, man. Like, like yeah. it's a joy to take a woman out on, on, on out to eat or on a trip or buy her whatever she wants. Like that feels good for a man to do. Yes. If a woman is pouring into you, but like like we like that. We like you know, that, man. We 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 we, like we, 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 we will sit among our brothers and just casually say, like casually stunt. Yeah, man, I went on and got her that that BMW, bro. Yeah, man. Yes, yeah, it set me back a little bit. Well, I went on, yeah. but we really we really stunned. Like, yeah, yeah, I went and did that for my woman. Yeah. Like, we love to give to man, that woman. Yeah. It's yeah. in us, man. It's, it's in, in us, man. I think, I, I think a lot of women need to understand that because you got a lot of women now that are saying, you know, and I'm talking about, you know, just the whole culture, the whole city girl culture. Mm-hmm. They're saying, oh, you know, we want the bag, we want the bag. And they're saying, you know, we low-key want a man, but, but it's like their wires are tied up somewhere. Yeah. It's like you just chill for a second and, and, yeah. and give to that man that all that stuff you're wanting is coming your way. Yes. Like it, it's coming your way, man. So yes. women, women just need to really understand those things. I think, man. Yeah, yeah. You know what? Let's let's uh let's deal with that for a minute because mm-hmm. I think women and men may still be lost mm-hmm. on that. The word submit, submission, mm-hmm. submit. To me, that word means being open to receive in a righteous position. Being open mm-hmm. to receive in a righteous position, but also. Mm-hmm. After you receive that, being able to incubate and birth that back to the man. That's heavy. Yeah. That's heavy, bro. Yeah. And that, that seed from the physical seed, uh, mm-hmm. from the spiritual seed, uh, the heart seed, wh- whatever, receive. Mm-hmm. A woman has to be in a righteous position to receive and, and then be able to incubate and give that back, uh, reciprocate that. Mm-hmm. I, I like think that's, that, bro. I think that's where we get lost, man. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. And, and, and you're right. It, it is a two, it's a two-way street. Yes. And, and I think, I think a lot of men don't understand it's two-way street. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Like, I, 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 I'm telling you, a lot of men getting that, you know, yes. beneath me, beneath me, I'm the, it's like, bro, it's like, it's like, yeah. it's like, you're the leader. You're already quarterbacking. Right. You, like, you ain't got, you ain't got to right. the chance. You in right. charge. Right. You in charge already. So, you yeah. know, it, yeah. it's like, it's like, to me, man, submission, to submissive, it's just, it's just it's almost saying I'm gonna love you as if I would love myself. There you go. And, and that and that opens up that opens up all gates. It's like it's like if I'm pouring into you and you pouring into me, it's like it's like we're closing that we're closing that gap. It's like it's like that's the that's the unity, man. Yeah, I, I agree, you know, and, bro. And I, you know, it it it, 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 it I don't want to say it hurts me, man, but it just because I've been in a stage. You know, back when I first started making content, I was making content. It, I, I don't think I was ever saying all women are like this. All no. I was mm-hmm. in a a space one time where I was, you know, going through a hurt, angry space, and I was like, "Man, man, we got to be careful." Women, are good. and we still have to be careful. Yeah, right. But, but I think once a man heals and starts to understand, like, brother, it's 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 a beautiful thing, bro. It is. It, it is. You know what's weird though, man? This is what I know. That like like a lot when I talk to a lot of younger brothers, like twenty five, between twenty five and thirty, the culture now in that age, it's almost it's almost blasphemy to say you like women. Like, yeah. like if, a, if a young brother says, hey, yeah. I'm in a relationship in the wrong room, oh, yeah. he's going to get attacked. Oh, you got yeah. a girlfriend? It's a crazy thing, like, man. What? Yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy, man. It's crazy, man. And, and dang, like, like, when you really think about that, man, it, it's, it's something really wrong with that. Yeah. It's something really wrong with that, man. But, yeah, uh, man. 
Well, yeah, all we can do is play our part, and it's gonna yeah. reach somebody. That's all you know. Yeah. That's all we can do, brother. Um, yeah. Now, in the beginning of of our conversation, I asked you, "Who is soul immortal?" But what's your take on as a collective, as a people, the human race, mankind? Like, who are we? Who are we? And and as a collective, what should we be doing? You know what, man? I think uh, when we, you we say who are we, man, I, this is this is really the only way I can answer, man, is that we are one body, man. Like, 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 and this is the thing. This this is the thing. Like, like I made I made a post the other day. I don't know if it was a tweet, and I said I said when you know when we pass away, a lot of people are gonna be surprised to see Hitler and Martin Luther King in the same space. I caught and that. I said, I said, I said, Kirk Franklin and uh, Luther Campbell, Luke Skywalker, and then I said somebody else. I said, I said Trayvon and and uh, uh, George and, Zimmerman. And, and, and Zimmerman. Yes, we're gonna, we're gonna realize that they're one, man. Like, yes. like, and, and again, this is this is something I'm just now starting to grasp, man. It's, it's like our goal here is is simply to again, you know, move in our own expansion, like find out who we are and expanding that. It's like right. if, if everybody if everybody is moving like that. This world will look completely different. The right. whole industrial revolution, the whole school system, everything will change, man. So I think I think who we are is, is to move in that moving that energy. But once we understand, I think the, the thing that keeps us from moving in that energy is really understanding what the most high is. Yes. And, and a lot of that goes back to religion. But I, I think I think the thing that keeps us separated is us pointing to a most high. And this is this is something real dangerous, brother. Like pointing to a Most High and giving that Most High and uh, giving that Most High an opposite or, or something that opposes it or right. pole. What right. that does internally, it, it plants a seed to start plant, to start separating you from separating you from everything else. Yes, it, it's like if you don't understand that all is one, then yes. it's like you're really not saying you know who God is. If you're saying, okay, my God has an opposing God, devil, that plants a seed in you that there's some separation all over the world. It's like no, right. brother. We got we got to go one step higher and put everybody in one bubble, right. because, because to say that my God has the opposite, you what you're what a person is really saying is that, that this is not the all. Exactly. Because if it's the all, then there could be nothing that consists outside of this. Exactly. And I know that sounds like I'm going off topic, but that, it's a seed that plants and you live like that. Yes. So what, once you tap into something that has no opposite, it's like man, now I can look at the world and see love in everything. Yes. Even if it looks evil, even if it looks like it's against me because of my skin color, like, yes. yeah, that's bad and we need to deal with that. Yes. But when I separate from that, man, it's like, it's still included in this whole, this whole thing. Yes. I don't like it, but it's still, it's still me. It's still, a, it's still a portion of my reflection. Exactly. You know exactly. I mean? Yeah. You, you're right on point, brother. Uh, now you're right on topic, actually. And I talk about that a lot. See, that's mm-hmm. next level of consciousness. That's all. Yeah. That's a whole nother level. To man, to where when you can perceive yourself in something total opposite of what you stand for, believe mm-hmm. in, but you can perceive yourself in that. See, that's love. It's love. <laughs> that's love, bro. That's that's God, love, God man. is love, though. Yep. Yeah, that, that's love. Like, and, and and so I keep my opinion on certain things uh, to myself because people won't understand it, but. Mm-hmm. Man, some of the people, I'll just keep it like this. Some of the people have done some of the worst crimes, violated people in the worst ways. We have to be able to perceive ourselves in them mm-hmm. and know that we may have a different understanding, be at a different place, but we're not above them. And mm-hmm. it's not like we're above, uh, not capable of going there because they are us and we are them. We all come mm-hmm. from the source. And depending yeah. on what's been instilled in you and your experiences and what uh, you've encountered on this path, it can determine which way you're going to go and your perception mm-hmm. of things, you know? Yeah. And so, and, you know what? Yeah. You know, even like to see something or, or somebody, somebody that opposes you, let's just say, let's just say it's due to my skin color, my skin color. Right. For you to have, for a person to have anger and say, you know what? Okay, I'm going to resist this. They don't understand. They're putting the cage around themselves. Exactly. Because, because because you by you pouring that emotional energy into being angry or whatever or whatever you want to call it, like like that's killing your creative power. Yes. Because emotional energy is creative power. So yeah. instead of creating your world, you pour your energy out 
say, you know what? I want to be mad at you. I'm mad at you. You hate me. Da, da, da. But you know, right. it's like, bro, now, now you're stagnant with change tied to everybody instead of just releasing it and just creating, man. Yes. You know, yes. Yes. It's like having you know, a color. Why? Yeah. Like, it's like you're a creator. You're out here to create. We're out here to create, man. And, and it's like, we're working with a, a 24 box color, uh, collection, but we yeah. saying, man, I got something against, uh, brown or tan colors. <laughs> so I'm not using these colors. I'm going to work yeah. with 16 of them. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know? Like yeah. you're limiting your ability. Yeah. You know, you're really limitless, but you have limited yourself. Because yeah. of your mindset. Yeah. Yep. It's crazy, yeah. man. It's crazy stuff, man. Now, man, this is something um, uh, dear to my heart for a couple of reasons. Uh, mm. Because you extended a, a, an invitation to me, uh, a couple of invitations. First, to join. And then second, to be an ambassador. And, and mm. that's the power circle, brother. Mm. Um, let me tell you something, man. Man, I can say a lot about this, but let me tell you something. I know in within the power circle, I don't really say a lot, you know, unless I'm, you know, I'm, I'm speaking, uh, I'm leading the show, uh, whatever that particular mm -hmm. night. But sometimes I like to just sit back, man, and just listen mm -hmm. to brothers and get different perspectives, uh, because we got brothers from everywhere, um, uh, man, Ghana, the UK, uh, Switzerland, uh, I mean, just everywhere, man, the rural mm -hmm. areas, uh. The hood, uh, mm. you know, East Coast, West Coast, everywhere, man. Black, white, everywhere. Um, you know, Italian, Spanish, wh wh whatever, man. You can name it. We we got it in the power circle, and uh, these brothers are gifted in different things. So sometimes I like to just sit back and take it in. Um, but this is a beautiful thing, man. You've created, and let me tell you, man. Sometimes, and I know I missed last Sunday. But even before that, that's my first time missing, I believe. Or maybe I missed two. But sometimes, man, I'd be like, man, I might not catch this one because, man, I'm, I'm tired. But then I'm like, nah, man, I'm going to miss something, man. I'm, I'm, I'm going to miss something. Yeah. So I go I go only dial in, man. I don't, don't want to miss something. Yeah. And I'm telling you, man, recently, it used to be like once or twice a month. But mm -hmm. recently, it's been once a week somebody mm -hmm. is hitting me up to join the power circle man and and brother you have created something and that energy is just radiating that frequency mm -hmm. is going out from all over and bringing brothers in what motivated you man to create the power circle brother you know what man like, to, to be honest I, in my mind i said you know what man we you know us men like like Seven days a week, 24 hours a day, man, we have to stay in a certain mode because we are the leaders. Right. It's like it's like leaders can't take a day off. Right. You know, so, sometimes, you know, our women and our children can kind of just say, you know what, I just want to know, I don't want to be no role today. I don't want to, you know, a man, even on his worst days, still has to be the quarterback, man. Always. So I said, man, we, we need a space, even if it's just for one hour of a week, two hours out of the week, man, we can come and just, and just you know, drop, drop, drop all of the egos, drop all of this stuff that has us compete in the world and just get in a space where we can learn from each other. Like, like, how does this brother, like, what are you experiencing? And, and, and what, I'll, I'll be honest, bro. I had no idea that it was going to turn out the way it's turning out now. Wow. Uh, I, I really had no idea, but, but like I said, it's, it's just, a, it's a place for men to come in and, and drop the egos where, where iron can really sharpen iron. And the thing is, it's, it, it's difficult for us to be in rooms or it's difficult to us to be on certain platforms and social media and talk about certain things because, because if women are in the room or present or in the feed or whatever, then a lot of men are like, okay, brother is just saying that. Or a brother can't really be himself because a woman is in the room. Exactly. But when you take that out, man, and just put just men in the table, men, men can, can, can be emotional. Men can say, hey, man, you know what? Like, like this is what I'm going on in my relationship. Like, this is how I feel about my finances. You know, it just, it just, it's a room where it's a place where men can be, can be vulnerable for yeah. one man. Like that's the, that's the place. And I, and I ain't gonna lie, brother, like that, I get a lot of energy behind sharing experiences with other men, when it's just men in a room. But, right. but what it's turning into, man, what it, what it turned to after like a month or so, it began to, to turn into like a mastermind by default, because right. it's like, even when I got off that call, I can still feel the energy of brothers in a room. 
Right. And it was like after you know when I first get on the call and we start seeing screens pop up, it's like, brother, I can I can feel y'all, man. It's like I can yeah. feel this energy. And like yeah. I was saying, my brothers last week, I said, man, this energy is built. We all have similar mindsets now. We yeah. all have similar missions now. Like there's a frequency around us. Yeah. So when you go out in the world and you're facing problems, you're making decisions. I said, brother, you have the strength of a number of men behind you because you're 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 in this atmosphere, brother. That, that's not even religious or spiritual. That that's scientific. Right. You know what I'm saying? You, right. you put a lot of things in a room and they're circulating, talking about the same things. They become one body. That's right. what the church is, man. It's it's a it's a body of people. Yes. And that's what it's become. It, it, it's become a vibration. And I think we really need to start start going in there more, man. How we need to all start start moving in that, like like understand yeah. what that is behind us, you know. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's powerful, it's a bro. Powerful thing, bro. It, it it really is, and I'm I'm telling you, man. I I know I have a chapter or a dream in the book uh, that talks about you know teamwork makes the dream work. But just mm-hmm. being totally transparent, I grew up playing sports, so I know about team concept, right? And and I was, mm-hmm. I was a point guard, so I know about giving, you know, that type of thing, mm-hmm. dishing out, delegating, that type of thing, right? Leading, but. Working with a group of men hasn't always been the easiest thing for me, brother. I'll be real with you. So I was kind of skeptical at first. And and then, you know, I, I got in. And I don't know I don't know if it's the timing in my life, my understanding has expanded. Or, you know, your leadership uh, that, that brought this together and, and the bodies in it. I, I, or a combination of it all, man. But... I shocked myself. I shocked my wife that I was a part of it, man. It's like, yeah. So, yeah, I want to thank you for that, brother. I really yeah. do. And I can relate, man, because because like like before before that, you know, it, it was not common for me to just sit down and have a, a conversation with a group of men because, yeah. and this is the reason why. Like, I I, I always felt I always felt like, like overly protective of my energy, mm-hmm. and, and it, that's mainly just because I'm an empath, man. And, and I didn't learn yeah. that until like in my late thirties or forties. Like I can't put myself in certain situations with certain men. Not that I don't like doing it or hanging, you know, it affects me. Right. Like it really affects right. me, man. So th- that's why I, I was always back, you know, I kept that. But when you get when you get men in a certain room that vibrate a certain place right. that, that, that are trying to, you know, be great, man, and, and, and learn more spirituality, it's like bro, then I can I can open up my chakras or whatever, man, to that yeah. and, and receive that, man, and grow from that, man. I love it, man. Yeah I, yeah, I love I love hearing other brothers get on there and, and sharing their experiences and, and exchanging knowledge and sharing books and all this stuff. It's a powerful thing, man. I, I love it, man. I, I love it, it. It is, man. Yeah, and I feel you on being an empath because because I am too, man. I, I can get drained, and so that's why that's why I used to reach out to you. Mm-hmm. And, and, well, I do still reach out to you periodically. Say, hey, man, you, you need a break because I because listen to you, you, you know more more of it. Could be an introvert and an empath. I said, man, that's me. I said, I know this brother. I said, I know this brother. Yeah. If he's anything like me, I know he has to be drained because he takes in all the energy. So I said, let me let me tag this brother out for a night. <laughs> that's why I do it, man. I it ain't even it ain't even bro. It ain't even a highlight like me. Like it's still like I just know, man. If this brother is an empath like me. I, I know he need a break, bro. I know man. he does. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Man. Yeah, man. So I feel you on that, man. Now, speaking of the power circle, brother, man, mm-hmm. I don't know if you want to answer this, you know, uh, on here, but often, often, man, I get hit up with by women saying, "What y'all gonna, what y'all gonna do co-op? What y'all gonna do co-op? Or what y'all gonna do something for the women?" I got the same thing with the book, man. A toast to the men. When y'all gonna do a toast to the women? I got the same. So I knew this was coming. <laughs> what you got any plans or? Even if you want to answer that, yeah. Now, yeah, well, I mean, we can talk like, like, it's it's weird because over the last three or four weeks, I've had a number of women uh, asking me that, you know, and I've had I've had a couple of women that, that went to the website and signed up and through the little screen, and I said, hey, you know, like, you know, this is all men. It will help. Uh, my bad, and they had to I had to refund them. They had to, you know, back on out. Yeah. And they're like, hey, like, we need, we want to be engaged. I mean, think about this, bro. Yeah. Think about this. Yeah. Like, like. There aren't too many men moving like this, saying, you know what, right. like, like we, we are a group of men that, that can go to a room and, and, and everybody's in a state of, man, let's just learn and grow and be great. Right. Brother, it ain't a lot of men moving like that. Most, right. most groups of men are still pointing the fingers, stand, still playing the blame game on why the world is doing that. So, so women, even though they can't see us, 
They know right. we're moving like that. They see small clips. They, yeah. they, and, and I'm not saying they want to be engaged in men like for relationship purpose. Right. They just want to be in spaces with men like that and want right. to grow from men like that to, to even be able to identify what a good solid brother looks like. Yes. So I think it's important, man. Like, like, and I've been thinking about this for the last week or two strong. Like, and, and I don't think, I don't think, I don't, well, this is my thing. I, I think that the power circle is, is a sacred space. Mm-hmm. Like, I think it's so sacred that it's very, I think we got to be very careful on just say, all right, you know what, women come in and boom, boom, boom. But to, but to have some kind of maybe once a month, I don't know, some kind of maybe, maybe a separate circle or where yeah. we can kind of come in the room and, right. and, uh, and do, and, and yeah. I think we need to do something at some point. Yeah, we, uh, we definitely need to do something, man. I had a, I had a, actually, I had a discussion, an in depth discussion, uh, this past Sunday with, mm-hmm. uh, Two two uh, business partners, two females mm-hmm. uh, business partners, and we got to talking about that. And one of them, I know she's she's listening to, she's gonna listen to this. But uh, mm-hmm. one of them was like, "I want to join the power circle." I was like, "No, nah, you, you you can't join the power circle." Like, why not? Like, why not? You know? And and I, I said, "Well, several reasons." I gave the reasons because brothers really can't be vulnerable and open up if a woman's in there. Mm-hmm. I, I don't believe, but. Uh, but like you said, it's sacred, man. The power circuit is sacred. And the topic that was coming up this past Sunday, mm. how to get your pockets off a of lean. What was it? Uh, mm. Yeah. Mm. I said, now yeah. you would be, I told her, I said, now you would be a good person to be in this conversation because you've mastered mm. that. I said, but it's still for men. I said, but I'm going to reach out to my guy. So, and we're going to come up with something. We have to, man. What, we, what is we, the what, what, Do you think we should be another room? Or what do you think, bro? It, it, it should. You know, this is what I told her. And, and I got this from you. I stole this from you. I borrowed this from you. And which I told her. I said, you know, the thing with uh, adding women to the power circle also is because we got some brothers in there are in the healing process. Mm-hmm. And it's somewhat red pill. And I said, there, like, and I got this from you. I said, now, there is a space. Uh, uh. A, a space for red pill people. And that is a space that I think men need to go through. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's, that's what you say a lot. And I believe that men need to go through that space. I said, but the problem is you can't take a person that's in that real red pill space at the time and put them in a room with women. Mm-hmm. That's going to be an explosion. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. I said, so we, what we got to do, we got to get people that's not in that state mm-hmm. and We'll take on people that's coming out of that that red pill state, and then they can all be in the same room, and mm-hmm. it won't be so contentious. It won't be mm-hmm. volatile, uh, clashing. You know, I said. So we gotta be mm-hmm. very, yeah, we gotta be very careful with that, man. But uh, you know, we 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 definitely, mean you definitely dive into it. That's something I really want to do. I need to do. We need to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We gotta do that, man. Big time. They wait. They're waiting, man. Yeah, we we need to get on that ASAP, man. To be honest, ASAP, ASAP. ASAP, brother. ASAP, man. But um, what what um, what are some of the upcoming projects you got? I know you got a book coming. Out. I don't know. I'm not gonna talk about it unless you want to talk about it. But what what's some yep. things you can share with us? Well, yeah, I definitely got the book, man. Uh, Unlocking the God. Should it be a different be out this spring? Which uh, I guess spring is between uh March 20th and June sometimes. So it'll be out in that time frame. But it, it's been a work in the process, man, because. Because, because it's like it's like I, I wanted to I wanted to experience some things like like you know I was writing this thing and it was almost like I was trying to you know I was living it at the same time while I'm while I'm communicating with God you know I'm 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 I'm, I'm writing it at the same time man so it's been a process man I ain't gonna lie but it, it's like my heart is in this thing bro wow uh, and the goal of this man like the goal of this it, it goes back to my to my mission man which. Which my life mission is one, you know, to bridge the gap between brothers. Like, like I talk about that whole single parent household thing, you know, where, where there was just a gap of time where men and young men wouldn't communicate. Right. You know, it's just like right. a gap, but like missing. So now it's like bridging that gap. And two, my main mission is, is really, is really, is really uncovering the veil, man, that's over a lot of people's eyes when it comes to spirituality. You know, when it comes to things that religion has have taught us, when it comes to, uh, 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 you know, uh, uh, practices and, 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 and just things that we believe that we've been right. told, 
Like if this book is really to uncover that, man, and it's gonna be, it, it's gonna be uh it's gonna be a lot of stuff in there, man, that 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 conflicts with a lot of a whole lot of stuff, but it's gonna make sense, man. So it's really about just unlocking that God, tapping into that full. Like, like, like I said earlier, like a lot of people are, are worshiping either light or dark energy. It's, it's gonna send us past that and tap right. into that all. Yes. You know, because I think the majority of people aren't tapping into that, man. You know. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Uh, so yeah. So, so I got that going on, man. Uh, a couple of ebooks I'll be putting together, like like right after that. They're already ready, but I don't want to put them out. And then I want to wait on this other book to come out first. Uh, the rest, the recipe, uh, 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 the path, and and uh, beautiful face of evil. All yep. those are going to be converted to uh, to books after this other one come out, man. So, oh wow, that's what I'm working on now, man. I'm still trying to expand, you know, the YouTube channel. Right. Um, you know, just moving in that direction, bro. Man, man, beautiful thing. I'm waiting on that book, brother. I'm waiting yeah, on that man. book, man. But I know it's gonna be powerful, brother. I know it is. Yeah. Well, brother, yeah, I mean, man, man. I, I really enjoyed you, man. I, I really did. So, man, this was an honor, man. It it was it was natural. It was organic. You know, man. This is how we chop it up, though. You know, so yeah, yeah. you know, we just we just letting people witness it. But it, it, yeah, that's nothing yeah. new, man. Yeah, that's nothing. We letting y'all eavesdrop, man. So it's nothing yeah. new. But brother, can you leave us? with some words or nuggets of wisdom, man. Can you do that for us as we, we, we go out? Man, I would just say, uh, kind of again, what we've been saying, man, like, like all is love. Like, like God is love, man. It's just like, if every, if every man and woman just, just seeks like, like that love in that deepest part, man, it, it, it fixes everything. It heals all wounds. It, 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 it heals uh, uh, our toxic relationships. It heals our, our trauma from the past. It teaches us how to forgive. It teaches us how to create. It teaches us how to respond to our brothers and sisters. It's like, man, just tapping into love, which you can call it God, you know, like you said earlier, like God is love, or just call it raw love. And once you tap into right. love, like it, it answers all things, man. Right. All things, brother. All things. There you go, brother. Again, love, respect, brother, honor. Thank you, brother. Thanks, man. <clears throat> Is it not written in your law that ye are gods? You understand what I'm saying? So it just depends on what level you own based on, uh, or what level you own based on uh, whether you're human or whether you're immortal.